Hello, my name is Andy from Race Technology. This is a short introductory video into the Dash 2 data display. The Dash 2 data display is one of our most popular products. We've been making it for the last 10 years and it's used in road legal and in race applications for, uh, for cars and motorcycles. So this is the unit as it's delivered to the customer. So it comes in, delivered in a plastic case with a, a cut foam interior. This is the, uh, the main unit. So it's a very high quality metal unit. It's actually a pressure aluminium die casting. Uh, it's fully o-ringed around the display and around the, where the case splits and around the LEDs and so on to make it waterproof. So that makes it suitable for use on motorcycles. We even sell them for offshore racing boats. So across the top we have six very high brightness LEDs which are used as shift lights, also warning lights when an alarm goes off and so on. We have the, uh, the large area display. Um, that's a LCD transflected display. Sounds very technical. What does that mean? Well simply it means it can be read under any lighting conditions. So that makes it the most suitable display technology for this type of application. So at night time it's backlit, so there's a backlight that covers the whole area so you can see it when it's in complete darkness. But uh, when it's very bright and the sun shines out, so that hits the screen, it has a half mirrored backing to the display. So the light's reflected back out past the LCD, and that means it, the display can't wash out. That's very different to how your mobile phone works, which is only ever backlit. So the more sunlight that hits the screen, the more difficult it is to see. So it's really is very nice and clear under any lighting conditions. Across the bottom, we have uh, LED indicators which are all the LED indicators needed to make it a road legal display. So that's things like indicators, brake warning, full beam, battery charge and so on. So that's everything that's required for the IBA or the MOT test. That's the front of the unit. If we uh, turn the unit round, we've just got the two electrical connectors. So it's the two round military spec connectors which connect to the loom. So these carry all the signals to the car. So things like sensor voltages, input voltages, connections to the ECU and so on. Again looking at the back it's completely flat and it has three screw mounting holes so that makes it really very straightforward to mount into the car. For most applications it just goes onto a flat panel in front of the driver and in fact if you look at the, uh, the documentation that's included we include an engineering drawing to show the area of the display and also where the screw holes are and that can be used as a template. So installation is really very straightforward. It's also very slim. The whole display, it's only 15 millimeters thick. In terms of uh, the other things which are supplied, so we have the main display, we have a quick start guide. We have a, a PC programming lead here for connection to a, well, normally a laptop. Um, and we have what we call the mini loom. So this is both the, the two connectors. So they, these connect to here and here. Um, it's not a full loom. Um, we can optionally supply a full loom, but in most applications the customer takes what they call the mini loom option, which is the default option. And this allows the installer or the, the owner to use their typically a crimp connector to go to the rest of the vehicle. We, we supply the connectors with the loom because the connections are relatively high density so they can be a little bit tricky to solder. But su by supplying with them a mini loom makes it much easier for people to install using regular tools in the garage. The most common installation for the display is as a standalone display. So that means you connect up power and you connect up your sensors and away you go. The sensors can either be sensors which you, we supply or there can be sensors which are already on the vehicle. So there's uh, various pros and cons of those two approaches. If you buy sensors from us, you have to sort out the mechanical installation yourself, and that sometimes can be tricky. So for example, with oil pressure and so on, you have to find the right thread or thread adapter. But if you do use our sensors, then the setup of the dashboard is very, very straightforward. You just select the, the relevant sensor from a drop-down list, and it's all carried out for you. If you use your own sensors, then the mechanical installation is much more straightforward because they're all fit, already fitted on the engine, they're already sealed and so on. But because the dashboard doesn't automatically know what the voltage means, you then have to set up your own calibration to 
convert that incoming voltage into a useful display of temperature or pressure or so on. So mostly if there are already sensors on the car, you use them. If you're going to add additional sensors, you'd normally buy them from us. Another very popular option is that the dashboard can be connected to your aftermarket ECU. So we, use, we, we can supply data converters for nearly all the third party ECUs. There's a list down here. Um, and simply the, the data goes into the back here and that's suitable for display on the dashboard. That keeps the installation much simpler and really very tidy in the vehicle. So if, that, if you do, do run an aftermarket ECU, that's probably your best option. Uh, for more advanced installations, you can also use the dashboard in combination with one of our data loggers. If you do that, then not only do you get all the regular data through from the data logger, but you can also do other things like lap timing and so on. Well, thank you for listening to the video. There's some other videos to watch which detail how to set up the dashboard and some information about um, installing it in a typical vehicle. So hopefully this has been of some interest and please take some time to look at the other videos. Thank you.